Hello, my name is Matteo, and this time I want to talk to you about a new module that I wrote and that I liberated in Drupal.org, and it's called Entity Reference Preview. And uh, so this is the module page, and here it explains a little bit what it does. But the main idea is that in Drupal you can assemble your content model by uh, point and click using the, the UI and typically one uh, relates data or content types to other content types uh, using entity reference and those are typically rendered inside of a page. So a good example of that is the umami module. So if you go to an article page, uh, in this case give it a go and grow your own herbs uh, you'll see that there is a reference for this entity which is media entity and down here I modified it uh, to show a list of contributors to this article uh, which in this case I, I made up um, but this would be an entity reference uh, to a contributor content type that I created and this is embedded here uh, using this uh, this view mode that I created using a uh, layout builder. Um, so you can see how embedding content types inside of other content types or enti content entities inside of other entities is very common and rendering them as part of the page uh, makes up like the whole Drupal experience. Um, one of the problems that um, you might have come across is that when you edit this page, uh, this article, and you make modifications, you can preview the modifications on that article. However, when you're previewing the modifications in that article, you're not previewing the modifications on the entities that this article points to. And that's when the module comes in play. Uh, this module will allow you to, if you were to make a change in this contributor, let's say change the name to add a second last name, uh, which that is something that uh, we do here in Mallorca, we all have two last names. Um, so if you are previewing this page, you would be able to see how it looks like with all of the entities that are embedded, uh, if all of the entities that are embedded were to be published. So uh, that may be useful for your use case. It is useful for uh, one of the clients that I'm working on. Uh, so I built this module and in a generic way so everyone could benefit from. So uh, let's see how this works. So um, work to this page. Uh, it will show you that what you need to do is to uh, start by going to the rendering part of Drupal or the rendering configuration in Drupal which is called manage display in content types and select in the drop down the field formatter for the entity for the entity reference um, but before we do that we need to install the module so I'm gonna hop over here into the extend tab and type for instance, preview and install, and if everything went well, it's going to uh, enable the, the module. So by enabling the module, you get here a configuration screen. Uh, I'm going to disable this for now. And you also get uh, the formatter and all the, the things that um, that are listed in that project page. Uh, but let's go to content types and let's go to the article, uh, manage display. All right, so for, let's say for the full content, I wanna render that media image with preview. And we'll see that by selecting these, it doesn't mean that it always be, will be previewing. Uh, that preview is something that is very controlled and that uh, editors uh, have or content authors have full control on. So the contributors, we also want to allow eventual preview and I'm gonna click save on this. 
I'm going to go to the card, do the same thing. You can see that this is a, a drop-in replacement for rendered entity. So if I change this, I don't even have to uh, modify this. Right. So I'll write on. I don't think we need to make more more changes. Uh, I forgot to set this up. Let's do it in a sec. All right. Um, so we should be done. Uh, so now we're going to go to our site and uh, it's going to do nothing because we are just viewing the article. We are not previewing the article. So if you're not previewing the article, it's going to just behave as usual. However, uh, if we now go to here, to this contributor, we edit it, uh, you'll see that in this latest version of it, I have the second last name here, and it's uh, still a draft. Uh, so this is something that we might want to preview. So uh, let's go here, click latest version. And something that you might have noticed is that this indicator here became red, uh, indicating that you are previewing. And it says so. And then uh, down here, you'll see that, oops, I forgot to remove this uh, from the from the contributor view mode. Uh, but you can see here that uh, the second last name is being previewed uh, correctly here. So let me go and change this really quick um, for this particular type. I do not want to have uh, Actually, that might be fine. Um, so this is kind of the, um, the main use case of it. However, you might remember that we disabled something back here. So we're going to enable it again. So what this is, is uh, the draft indicator will add a blue dot on the embedded entities as a way to show you that you have drafts that uh, that you're not seeing, uh, embedded drafts that you're not seeing. So right now I'm going to go to view and since draft uh, the indicator is enabled and this user has access to a permission that enables uh, that allows them to to see the indicator if we scroll down here you'll see that there is this blue dot that gives me like the idea that this entity that is embedded here as i'm browsing the site is not at its latest version and if you hover it it will tell you that it has a new draft and that you might uh, want to preview this. So I can come here and uh, and preview it. I click on latest and you'll see that here it also has a different version of it uh, because I changed some metadata on this image. And um, that is very useful because uh, then you can uh, go about your site and see what are the things that uh, are pending for changes and uh, you might want to preview your page uh, with those changes. Um, so that's, um, that's kind of the main idea. Um, another thing that I wanted to show is that this far I've been using the latest version to trigger previewability on this page, right? Um, however, imagine if I was, was to publish this. I do not get the preview tab in here anymore. 
and that means that I cannot preview the embedded entities, right? So that's why there are multiple ways to trigger preview. Uh, a very basic way is just clicking the preview tab. But if you go here, you can see that the current status is stopped for the preview. And you can come here, click start, and you come back and boom, you're previewing. And you see, uh, oops, sorry, not this. Uh, you see down here the the potential changes that you that you might want to allow uh, or that you might want to approve or not, and and that is very important when you are using the second uh, main feature of this module, and th that is that this this doesn't only apply to entity references, but using the same idea it applies to views because entity references are just a collection of entities that are being rendered and views is exactly that uh, instead of using a field you use a, a view to make the to make the query so uh, so let's see uh, we're gonna make a change on this um, give it to go and grow your own herbs uh, we're gonna remove the exclamation point and we're going to save it as draft All right so uh, in the draft you don't get the exclamation point in the published version you do get the exclamation point so let's go to articles uh, you the first thing that you might notice is that the exclamation point is not there uh, and that's because we have previewing enabled so, uh, but if we stop the previewing, you'll see that it reverts to the published version. Uh, it behaves as if uh, the module wasn't even installed. Uh, with, the, uh, with the main change that uh, this still uh, will add the indicator to the, um, to the page. So the things that might have changed, uh, you get the, the indicator. So how do you configure? this uh, because we configured the entity reference by going to the manage display but um, for views we don't get that manage display but we do get the views uh, configuration so uh, you'll need to go oops sorry you'll need to go to views settings and then advanced, sorry, and then entity pre uh, preview display extender. And once you have that enabled, then that is something that you will only need to do once. You will get this section over here. So to enable it, just uh, save it. Uh, it was already enabled because I had uh, configuration uh, lingering because uh, I was making was making tests but this will be disabled for you and probably you will not need to go to the settings and the advanced tab to enable that because the uh, install hook will enable that for you um, but yeah let's let's save and you you see how how you get the indicator and you get the ability to preview again it removes the, the exclamation point if I were to disable this it will just revert back to the behavior that you used to, right no indicator no uh, preview even when preview is on so uh, this uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, these are the main features. I hope that this is useful. Uh, it has been proven uh, very useful for uh, some use cases and some setups that I've been working on. Uh, and let's see if you find it useful as well. That's it for me. Ta-da.